What is up YouTube? I'm your host John Hawes and before I actually start, you know, rolling on the motorcycle over there with a vlog, I want to just explain to y'all something that just blew my mind because I was today years old when I realized why those cutouts in these signs exist. Now, first off, this is a school zone sign that, uh, well, it's in my front yard. Anyways, but a bird that was sitting up there and it flew off a minute ago. Anyways, the bird that was up there was trying to fly in here. And I just realized that that cutout right there at the bottom of the sign is not just to prevent, you know, rainwater building up, but they can't build nests in there. You're welcome. Anyways, I'm putting on my gloves, getting on the bike. Let's go ahead, roll that intro, uh, and then I'll be out at Grapevine Lake somewhere and I'll start talking. Hey, what's going on, Christ Gear? It's your host, John Hawes, and thanks for tuning into this channel or this episode. Actually, both. But um, as I said in the intro, I got some stuff I got to tell y'all. And so um, I, I'm out here, Grapevine Lake. Uh, funny fact, I actually already recorded this and I didn't like the first two takes, so I'm doing it a third time. So without further ado, let me go ahead. I'm not only just, you know, verse of the day, which I don't really do. I've been, I mean, I haven't been doing, I mean to do. But also, it's really important because with what I got to tell y'all, actually, this verse, um, it, it's been it's been speaking to me a lot about some stuff. So let me go ahead and read it. All right, I'm reading out of Romans 12, verse two. And if you want to read along with me, actually, I'll flash to the bottom screen. But either way, this is the New Living Translation. All right, so here, the blue one. If you could read it, don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. All right. With all that being said, I'm putting on my glove and I'm going to get on this thing and start talking because it's actually starting to get dark and, uh, yeah. So also a little bit cool. Texas just had a cold front and tomorrow's Thanksgiving, just to give you guys a reference of, you know, what time it is. Oh, <sighs> huge hill too. I don't know if you guys can tell, but So this is going to be a little bit more of a, uh, I guess you'd say a sober minded episode, if you will, uh, something where I'm coming to you all on. I'm not going to be spilling all the details because, um, I got some stuff. I got some really, really personal stuff that's still in the making and for reasons because of people who are involved, I can't really give information right now. Um, later on, I will probably be, you know, you guys will, will uh, finally know more what I'm talking about. And honestly, from what it looks like, it'll be in a few years. And the reason why I'm saying that is, uh, um, I mean, yeah, I'm processing, but also um, just, again, so there, there are certain, cir cir certain circumstances that I'm kind of waiting for, um, again, because this can blow up badly on some people. Um, so... It's been probably a week since I've gotten a video out, and the reason for that being is, um, <laughs> it's, it's really, it's really funny. God, God used some of this stuff. This thing's actually like my first couple of episodes. I was, I was honestly really anxious about what y'all would think for those my, you know, my 15 followers so far. Thank you guys, but also um, just for everyone else, the whole world, mostly people I know. To be honest, I'm, I'm more afraid of the people I know rather than you know the people i don't know but nonetheless um i had a lot of anxiety about getting this stuff out and um it was unhealthy i was worried about what y'all would think rather you know and 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 to me it was showing me that i am you know maybe i don't want to say this it was showing me that i may not be as rooted in christ as i think so I was doing some time, I was doing some praying, I was looking into some stuff, and I realized that I, 
I'm still not sure how I'm going to say this. But I had some stuff in my past that happened that forced me into a certain mindset that is extremely unhealthy. It's not pleasing to God. I'll be honest about that. Um, but, I mean, thankfully, he is patient and understanding and loving. He knows what I've been through. Um, and like I said, understanding. So he... I mean, I'm not the first person he's dealt with this, as far as this goes. Um, and I think there's, you can, you know, I can look to uh, 1 Corinthians 10, 13 for that assurance. But, but I'm not, I'm, I, I've got stuff that I didn't realize was going on, I guess. And I didn't realize was affecting me in certain ways. And like I said, it's still affecting me to this day. So, um, I mean, God's been, God's been sprinkling breadcrumbs. I guess you will feed me lead me on by by a trail of breadcrumbs to the main loaf if you will is that how the saying goes is that i don't know but you guys may get the analogy all right um and oh uh, sorry guys snuffles because it's it's getting a little bit chilly it's being me riding around the lake it's it's going to be getting cool um but he got god's been giving me a little bit of, of you know, little little inklings, I guess, little you know, sprinkles as far as sprinkling little ideas. Oh, guy, as far as you know, what's been affecting me and all that, and and for very good reason because to be honest, I don't think I would have been able to handle it. The bombshell that I faced probably about a week ago, um, a little less than a week ago, that that got dropped. I mean, I wouldn't have been able to handle it. I didn't have the support group because um, I'm now plugged into a great church that I love. Um, as far as teaching theology and even then it's not just, you know, Hey, let's fill ourselves with head knowledge. But, uh, furthermore, it's, um, I think I just took a wrong turn. It's not just head knowledge, but it's, um, but it's applicable as well. Dead end. Okay. And what I love about it being applicable is it actually helps your faith it helps you live a life in christ so among a lot of things part of this part of the uh part of the membership process for this church is they plug you into a group it's no no question about it no ifs ands or buts you're getting plugged in with gr a group of you know in my case guys or for women girls if you're married you're going to be with a married couple so on and so forth and you're going to be with people who are in a similar life stage as you so that means i just got put into a group of men who they're bound my age and um while we may not you know ugh, i don't want to say this i was put in with a group of men who uh, are about my age who um are one way or another pursuing a profession um you know stuff like that and you know uh, so so we're our aim is to be open completely open and real with each other and help each other live a life in Christ, which is awesome. And it's kind of funny because two days after I realized this bombshell, I hadn't even met them before, and I wasn't even intending to talk about it. So they turned to me and like, John, so what do you really, what's been, what have you been going through this week? I'm like, oh, well, um, and X. So anyways, it's, it's between that and then other people that have been in my life that, um, it's really funny who they were monumental in my, I guess you would say my earlier stages of, uh, being, becoming a new becoming a christian i guess will as being a new young christian two years ago um and it's just really funny how not only did these people help me grow in my faith but they also um one of these people actually they relate to what i've been through and it's it's amazing and um they're actually i guess you'd say in the later stages uh they, i think god has worked i guess helped them work through this um, me, I'm just kind of tip of the iceberg here, but, um, I guess the start of this journey, but <sighs> anyway, so that's, that's kind of why I'm saying, you know, God wasn't being a, I guess you would say narcissist, I guess you would say self-pleasing. I don't know how you want to call him, but, or what you may think of him, but I mean, it was, it was for my good. I couldn't handle the truth. Um, and now I guess I got to a point where God's like, okay, and here you go. So you know, it's, um, I guess you'd say it is what it is. I'm still processing this stuff. I'm still allowing God to change my mind to, I guess, become healthy, mentally healthy for the most part. Um, like I said, just also coming to terms with some other things that were not just, you know, mental or physical or, excuse me, 
coming to terms that were not just mental but physical as well um and i mean shoot not even all of my friends know this and it's not that i'm afraid of telling them it just i don't want to parade this around and kind of use a you know self-pity but anyway so that's that's kind of that's kind of why i've been i guess you'd say radio silent um went from pushing an episode out almost every other day or every three days or something like that to now being a week and like i said i feel like i owe you guys an explanation and and uh i guess furthermore for those who are watching this who haven't yet subscribed um <clears throat> if i can ask for you guys if you want to know maybe a little bit what i'm talking about um as vague as i have been you guys go check out my testimony and uh you guys might understand a little bit more what i'm talking about um like i said even then when i made that video a few weeks ago i did i still didn't even realize what <laughs> i didn't realize what was going on again i just had a small idea and again it wasn't until a week ago god was like okay here you go so I'm still going to be putting out content for y'all. Um, I'm going to try doing it as I can. And, uh, um, I mean, again, I want this to be a fun, a, a channel that's fun, that's entertaining, kind of shows y'all a little bit, you know, I guess you'd say my life, my journey, not necessarily just, you know, for the sake of me, but I mean, it's, it's, this is, I don't want to say this. I'm, I'm trying to be open as far as letting God use me and work through me. And, uh, I mean, shoot, he's already done that so much y'all. Again, this is kind of my testimony that I'm trying to get out there. Um, stuff that I'm not, I mean, I, I don't, I, I regret stuff I've did, done, don't get me wrong, but, um, the beauty of it is God is patient. He is loving. He forgives. Um, and I mean, and then he's like, okay, well, now that you realize that that stuff is wrong, let me help you fix this. So that way you don't keep on walking down this path. Um, and to be honest, it's just, it's just opening up to God. I mean, first, again, like I said earlier, he's already known all of I've, well, everything I have done, everything that affects me, um, stuff that I had seen him unrightfully so as, does that make sense? Um, I guess it's, God knows and he knows where I'm coming from already, which is just crazy and beautiful. So that's why, I mean, we should have no qualms of I hope I'm using that word right. We should have no issue of bringing this stuff to him. Because, again, he already knows. But when we go and, we, I mean, we realize as we reflect and we go to him, be like, you know what, God? You know, I'm going to lay out my heart here. <laughs> you know, either I messed up here or I am messed up because of, you know, this whatever happened in my past. You know, and it sucks that... I was, okay, you've got some really bright lights, buddy. Anyways, I mean, it's, it sucks. It sucks that this stuff happened. But the beauty of it is he's standing by. Actually, I won't, don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. The beauty of it is he's standing by ready to take you as you are. And unfortunately, some Christians mess, mess that up. A lot of people think that, oh, I have to be right. I have to start acting right, so on and so forth, for God to take me. No. Now, that is farthest from the truth, and I'm just going to say, sadly, the enemy has done a great job, a great job of messing that up. So the thing is, God loves you, takes you as you are, and as long as you're obedient and you're willing to follow through with what he says, um, which is all for our own good, mind you. It's not a, again, it's not a thing of, I'm going to be selfish, I want you to do this for me, but I mean, he's done so much for us already that we don't realize, and... Um, I mean, <laughs> and he doesn't expect us to pay him back. We can't, I mean, he doesn't expect us to pay it back because we can't pay him back. We physically cannot. I mean, if, I mean, you, you, you we, we come from the earth, essentially we're made from the earth. And uh, when we die, we go back to it. So we come into this world with nothing. We go out of this world with nothing. So, you know, I mean, if you believe that God has made the earth, and everything under, you know, everything, I guess the earth and everything below the ground or everything underground, whatever you maybe want to say. And then everything above our heads, I would look up, but I'm in a really technical turn right now. 
so anyways i mean god's already made all this he's given us so much of this and then not only that he he made a way for us to have a relationship with him after we messed this all up and you, if you want to know more of what i'm talking about go read genesis chapters uh mostly chapter three but genesis chapters one through three and uh like I said, just sit there and reflect. I mean, it's we, we mess this stuff up, but yet he has made a way for us to be able to come back to him um, where, you know, thanks to thanks to Christ, we don't have to suffer the punishment for our what we've done wrong. No matter how much good or bad you do, it's the thing is you put your faith in Christ, that Christ living the perfect life as God <laughs> came down from heaven, lived the life that we couldn't live perfectly and yet was tried and killed as if um i mean he had he had committed the worst you know killing spree that you could think of or the worst crime you can think of um and he did that for us so that way again you know punishment aside we can just simply live for god so Unfortunately, not everyone understands this. Um, even even some people who call themselves Christians don't understand the freedom that we have in Christ. Now, you know, to kind of go into Romans, I think it's Romans seven or six or something like that. I don't know. It's you know, um, should, in our freedom, you know, does that mean that we can go do whatever we want? And it's like, no, we we don't. And even then, I mean, I can pull stuff from First John where um, it says, I mean, for those who continue to sin, to live in sin if you will to commit it and i mean i guess without repentance it's um it's very likely that they don't even know christ so um and i may have said this in another in another episode i don't know but it's you know jesus says at one point i'm thinking somewhere around john chapter 15 i think um but it's the whole thing of we're Je jesus talking last supper and he uh he says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. It's, and I want to just say that it's not a, you do the commandments to love me. No, it's if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Um, but again, I mean, we are, we are per imperfect. So, I mean, largely what I want to say is, guys, we're not going to continue the life of sin. Hence why I was mentioning earlier Romans 12 too, as far as renewing our minds. Uh, or as far as God renewing our minds so that way we're not acting like people of this world but rather we are acting um, I guess as followers of Christ so and like I said God, God takes God does that in so many ways he takes He takes us from wherever we're at and I mean it's just each way is just magical and beautiful it really is um, no matter you know how dark your, your past is or matter how no matter how dark your past isn't God can take you love you show you his love and teach you um we're just called to to be obedient you know to repent um and that's that's all he requires and and we move on from there so i hope i want to go ahead and start wrapping this up because my hands are getting kind of cold um i hope that this was clear and consistent for y'all um if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments and uh, maybe in another episode i can go ahead and kind of clarify but for now i'm just i'm dealing with some personal stuff Ooh, trying to get my visor up because it's fogging for now i am dealing with some personal stuff that is not it's not easy i guess to deal with it's 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 pretty heavy on my mind pretty heavy on my heart um i'm just trying to take it one day at a time and uh, essentially for once just allow myself to feel um, emotions that have always been suppressed and looking at things the way they are so um, a Christian's life ain't easy don't don't let anyone say otherwise guys it's not a cakewalk um, but the thing is I've got so much more peace now knowing God the way I do bef than before I knew him um, and before I wrap this up, I want, well, I mean, I'm kind of already wrapping this up, but before I go ahead and sign off, y'all, I want to just kind of propose this, keep in mind, that I, there's, I usually say a couple, there's something I say, I tell people, that there are two types of pe Christians, Christians, I don't know, uh, one of them I should say without quotes. Anyways, there are two types of Christians, guys. There are those who go through stuff, and then there are those who lie about it. So if you come across a Christian that says, you know what, no, my life's good. I don't deal with anything. I'm, I'm perfect. Haven't really, you know, dealt with my, I don't know. It's, um, 
if they have no story to tell then I'd say they're likely lying about it or well yeah no they're lying about it they're probably covering it up because we've all dealt with something at one point um, you know granted the severity is going to is going to change but we've all dealt with something so with all that being said y'all thank you guys for listening thank you for watching my stuff hopefully like I said I'm kind of it's hard to say you know you guys it's hard for me to say hey I hope you enjoyed it because again it's somewhat vague but I hope you guys are encouraged um, by what I'm going through again even though it was vague but um, like I said in time the truth will be coming out I guarantee you of that because it is my testimony of how God is actively in my life um, as painful as it is but um, but I love it and it's worth it so um, I mean he's the one that has changed me from two years ago into who I am today using what I've been through uh, as a means of letting me come to know him so um, he didn't cause the stuff to happen so by no means am I resentful at it because we do have our own free will so it's just it's it's sad that this person um, that has affected me is um, it's sad that they have they've done this God didn't force them to do it God didn't make them do it he allowed it but that's all right so with all that being said guys thank you for watching i hope next time it'll be on a uh, better note on a more cheerful note but i'm going to go ahead and just kind of say my somewhat normal tagline that um you guys stay strong in your faith stand firm do everything out of love once again i want to remind you guys that God loves you, Jesus loves you. I know, Christian cliche sayings, but y'all, I tell you, it's the truth. And either way, I'm praying for y'all. May God bless you. Good night, happy Thanksgiving. Be safe on Black Friday, whenever this comes out. All right, I'm done, bye. <laughs>